This video was recorded with the Aver Media Live Gamer Portable. Skip it a button, that up. You can hate them or love them, but the Xbox One and 360 are selling. They're selling very well. Shout out goes to YouTube user Delta Leader 36. I'll have a link to his channel below in the description. Pre-orders for the Xbox One have surpassed those for the Xbox 360 during its pre-launch months. Microsoft announced Thursday. The upcoming console has sold out in pre-order status at most of its major retailers in the US, the company added. Meanwhile, the Xbox 360 continues to heat up sales, which boggles my mind, but I'll talk about that later. For the 30th month, in a row, the Xbox 360 was the top-selling home console in the United States last month, with consumers snagging more than 140,000 units. Total spending on the Xbox 360, including hardware, software, and accessories, hit $197 million in June, the highest number for any console in the U.S. Look. You guys know I have shit all over Microsoft. I, I still dislike their business practices, and they left a bad taste in my mouth with the whole Xbox One reveal and all the DRM policies and how they were going to handle used games. Yeah, it pissed me off. And if they kept those policies, I wouldn't buy one. I would have stood my ground on that. You know, it kind of sucked watching E3 because their initial reveal was a disaster. Um but their E3 show I liked. And the games looked kick-ass for the Xbox One during E3, and I remember thinking, damn, man, too bad I'm not going to get one with all those policies in place, but the games sure as shit look cool for it. Now those policies are gone, and the general consumer doesn't care. They probably saw the E3 show, they're probably seeing videos on IGN and thinking, damn, those games look cool. I'm going to go out and buy an Xbox One, or people who didn't pay attention at all didn't even know about the DRM policies, or just like, oh, I'm, I'm just gonna. My son loves the Xbox 360. I'm gonna order him an Xbox One. I know he's gonna want it for Christmas. It's just how it is, man. Now, the Xbox 360 is still selling so well, and this is not. This has nothing to do with Microsoft. If it was Sony, I would say the same thing. Stop buying the current generation of consoles. The generation is almost over. Why would you buy? Especially that the the Xbox 360, at least, you know, the one with the big hard drive in it, and the PS3 are still expensive. Save your pennies for next generation, man. And I mean, I'm sure, too, on top of it, I know that I know that a lot of people know that the Xbox One and PS4 are not going to be backwards compatible, but still wait. Because if you wait, I promise you, there's no way that a PS3 is going to be next to a PS4 and only be $100 cheaper. You're not going to see the PS3 stay at $299 right next to the PS4, which is only $399, US dollars, that is. Trust me, they're going to get cheaper. Stop buying the consoles now. I'm sure Microsoft and Sony don't want me to say that, but it's true. Why would you buy the current generation of consoles when next gen is coming out? And on top of it, the price of the current generation is way too high, and you know they're going to drop those prices like rocks when the next generation is actually released. Just don't do it. Save your pennies. Now, like I've said before, did Microsoft hurt their image with their absolutely horrendous reveal of the Xbox One and all those policies they tried to put into place? Yeah, it's going to haunt them for years to come. But people are still going to buy the Xbox One. Come hell or high water, people want to play their Halo. Don't know what else to say. Anyway, folks, make sure to rate, comment, favorite, and subscribe. And if you have an interesting news story you would like me to discuss, private message me with a link via YouTube. And if I use your news article, I will give you a shout out in the video and feature your YouTube channel in the description. Have a good one.